What's happening everybody? Nick Olson, Chupacabra Off-Road, and today we're talking safety for the kiddos. Let's talk about helmet setups and seating setups so you can take the little boogers on all day rides and make sure they all have a safe, good time. So a little bit of background about me. I was a helmet salesman for quite a long time. I worked for the company Fox, which is well known in the motocross industry. So I tell you all that to let you know that I'm a little bit of a helmet snob. I really value spending money protecting your head. I've ridden dirt bikes and mountain bikes almost all my life. I've been knocked out. And I really see the importance of spending a little bit of extra money. I know with kids it's hard because they do grow out of them so fast. You can find cheap stuff on Amazon for 40 bucks, but you know, we're off-roading, we're going fast. Make sure they're safe. It's far more important than saving a few dollars in the realm of protecting me and my family's noodles. So with that, let's talk a little bit about some of the helmets that I like, I've been using, and what I prefer. So my kids are four and a half and two and a half years old, and they're both pretty big for their age. And as I've purchased them helmets, I've learned a lot. They started off riding bikes. They ride the little stasic electric dirt bikes. So I'm trying to pick out helmets that we can use for pretty much everything. Uh, my oldest now is riding a little PW50 Yamaha. So kind of graduated from a very young age to using helmets, like I said, and I, I don't want to have so many helmets with too much overlap. So I'm trying to be thoughtful of which helmets I've chosen and we'll get into that now. So this topic of kids' helmets comes up all the time in a lot of Facebook groups. And I think an opinion that I share is probably a lot of you parents agree with me on is that a lot of DOT helmets for small kids two to three to four years old are heavy and they're excessively heavy given that they're small and their little neck muscles haven't really developed. So I've got a couple bike helmets. I do have a DOT helmet for my oldest. Personally, I feel like a non-DOT helmet is safe enough for riding in a side-by-side. -side. It obviously gives them much more protection than not wearing a helmet. It's a state law almost anywhere in the country, but the state law does in a lot of states say they have to have a DOT helmet which is usually a motocross helmet. I've never been hassled. My kids always have helmets and I personally feel at this point in time with their size and age that it is the safest option. So I'm gonna stick with those and if I were to get a ticket, I'd eat it just because I, like I said, I think it's the best use of money and I think it's the safest route given the lack of their neck strength at this age. So let's start off with the helmet that we're currently using for my four and a half year old. And this is a 100% helmet, it's a Stratus. They make it in PV sizes, it's about $175. We'll link it below in the description. And this is a PV size, so this fits a size of about 18 and a half inch circumference, which is definitely smaller than a lot of other smalls on the market. Um, this helmet we've had for a couple years, it works really well, it tends to fit well. My kids seem to think it's very comfortable. I ended up purchasing another one for my two and a half year old. Again, I found a Black Friday deal on this for 125. It's a good looking helmet. It is good for the little Stasic electric bikes as well, in my opinion. They have some face coverage in case they do go down. Um, they're using some goggles when we're in the side by side. You know, I've got a windshield, of course, on my razor, so that really cuts down on, in some sections, them even needing to wear eye protection. But, um, this helmet's done really well. Now we've got it synced up with a uh, uh, PCI helmet radio, so we can plug them in. We've got a Bluetooth radio, so my little guy can talk back and forth, which uh, takes the fun experience to a whole new level. All right, so here's what my guys look like all strapped in. This is my four-year-old, four and a half, Cooper. And he's got his little seat in, like I said. We move the seat forward a little bit and he can hold the grab handle. Plenty of leg room. Got his helmet all wired up so we can chat, listen to music. Have a good time off-roading, huh? So the next helmet I've currently been using for my little guy is this little ProTech BMX helmet. BMX skate helmet, it's fully adjustable here in the back. It's got an EPS liner as well as some foam, which I think is good for impact. And my little guy prefers this um, over the full face helmet sometimes. You guys know if you have little kids, sometimes they fight and argue and they won't wear it and they'll rip their goggles off. That's kind of where we're at. So the half face helmet, the little Protex work really well. Uh, they'll wear it on bike rides, especially when it's hot. I get those little boogers out riding bikes all summer, even here in Arizona. So that's a nice little helmet that works for everything. It also, when combined with the seat that I'll get into, show you, you've got the head support and the neck support. So he's safe, he's not jiggling around too much, his head's protected, it's lightweight and adjustable enough that he can wear it. And like I said, it works well on more applications, more than just being here in the Razor. And he could also put some goggles on with that helmet if he wanted to, or like I said, if we could get him to not rip them off on a ride. 
So let's talk about a DOT option, and I picked this up on another Cyber Monday special from Troy Lee Designs. It's a kids motocross DOT, it's their SE4. This is a youth medium. Um, this is pretty heavy, it's uh, 2.9 pounds, so this is a really solid option. Like I said, it's on the heavier side, but Troy Lee is an amazing company. They have a lot of high quality products. I've always been a fan of almost everything Troy Lee does. And uh, so far this has worked really well. He had not a little bit of discomfort on his uh, ears, but same thing, the cheek pads are removable, washable, and replaceable. So once he gets bigger, we can throw in the youth size large and probably get a couple years out of it, provided he doesn't have any big crashes and uh, require a replacement. All right, so let's talk about seating. This is a little booster seat. It's made by a company called Twisted Stitch. They make nice, high quality aftermarket seats. And I was able to pick up one of these from my buddy. I think I got it used for about 80 bucks. So if you guys pay attention, you can usually find some used ones that come up, I think, brand new. They're all over 250 bucks. And this fits in my PRP seats, and this is for my four-year-old. So what we do on the front seat is we will move it forward, we'll pull a little grab handle back. He can almost see out of the windshield and kind of see everywhere, and it's worked really well. Um, sometimes I kind of feel like I wish we had a little bit of neck support, but like I said, with the lighter 100% helmet, he's been great. We did a couple faster rides out at Glamis with him, and then we also did a, a nine hour ride. Uh, it's a rocky, bumpy train out here in Northern uh, Phoenix area. So he did really well. Um, you know, he's been going in this at low speed rides ever since he was about two, but now we're getting to a point where, you know, we went out to Glamis and, and we're with a group of uh, other families and they want me to lead all weekend. So it was funny that it was the first weekend really with the family and I was thinking, ah, I want to go out by myself. I just want to fart around. Maybe we'll do into the swing. We'll just take it easy. So I put some rides together that were a fun pace. You know, I want everyone to have a good time. I don't want to go too hard because, you know, some people like going fast like me. Some people just like cruising and getting outside and, and I want to have a lot of good experiences with my family. So, you know, I'm just trying to get this blend and I think with the seating and the helmets, we came up with something that worked well. We were able to go for good pace rides, trying to drive as smooth as I could, it wasn't uh, boring to be behind, and we had a really good weekend. So, just picked up this for my two-year-old. This is from a company called Britax. It was about 160 bucks on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. And when we were out at Glamis that weekend, we tried one of these boosters for my two-year-old. Didn't have a lot of support, so what we ended up doing is taking the car seat out of my truck and ratchet strapping it in. And that worked. Obviously, he was safe, which was the most important, but it really took away a lot of leg room once we strapped him in here in the back of the Razor. So I picked up this boost we're gonna use the harnesses I'll show you guys in a second when they look like when they're all in and, and locked down tight and uh, my buddy had one of these for his kids in the back of a sand car we love the uh, the bolstering around the neck area my little two-year-old he falls asleep on all the rides anyway so uh, it's good that he's got a comfortable uh, ride that he can just kind of pass out and do his thing thank you guys for watching hope this uh, gave you some tips and pointers to think about so you guys can have safe family rides and a lot more of them